Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel today. Uh, if my audio sounds a little bit different or the video quality looks a little bit a little bit different, I'm actually recording in a different location right now, so uh, just keep that in mind. Hopefully, the next video I'll be back where I usually record my video. So just bear with the audio and the uh, the picture for this video alone. But I just had an idea for a video and I really wanted to uh, get it out, but uh, today we're going to be going over the top 10 Carl Edwards 164 scale die cast in my collection. That only means the ones that I, that I own, not the ones that, uh, you know, the other people might have, the, just all of his paint schemes. That simply just means the ones that I, that I own personally. I had some comments on the Jimmy Johnson video about, like, why didn't I put uh, certain paint schemes in that. Well, that's because I don't own them, so... Uh, I can really, I'm really only going to review the ones that I own, so um, keep that in mind when I'm doing this ranking. So, uh, yeah, so some honorable mentions I want to talk about before we get into the top 10 uh, is this UPS 2013 car, I believe, might be 14, uh, but I do believe it was 2013. Uh, this was the first year of the Gen 6, and Carlo was his first primary paint scheme for the Gen 6 era. Uh, he had this and Fast and all, but I just didn't really feel like the UPS really fit with him. Uh, it didn't really stick around that that long, but still a cool paint scheme. Kind of weird to see Carl driving a UPS car. Uh, I guess their number six sponsorship transitioned over to the 99, and then he was gone a couple years later. So that being said, this is an honorable mention, the UPS number 99. The next honorable mention I want to talk about is this Cheez-It car. I believe this is 2012. I just don't really like the neon on it. That's why it did not make the top 10. The Kellogg's car is really cool. I think I said cheese it, but I meant Kellogg's. Uh, the Kellogg's logo is really cool, and I really like the blue background behind it. So, uh, But I just don't really, don't really like this neon going on up here on top. So uh, that being said, that is why it falls in the honorable mention category. Coming in at number 10 and starting off our list is going to be Carl Edwards' 2010 Cheez-It Ford Fusion. Uh, so this is a pretty cool paint scheme. Cheese it sponsored Mark Martin up until this time, I believe. They sponsored the five car for most of the 2000s, uh, Kellogg's and Cheese it So the red on the front's really, really, really cool. I wish it was red all the way out throughout the car, uh, but you see you got the Kellogg's logo there on the quarter panel and um, some Ch Cheese it logo there on the back. So uh, pretty cool paint scheme, and that is where it comes in at number 10. Coming in at number nine is going to be Carl Edwards' 2010 Kellogg's car. So we just talked about the Cheez-It car. Uh, I'll give you a little side-by-side -side of these cars. They're pretty much the same uh, inverse of one another. So that's kind of cool. Uh, this is a really cool set to have in a collection. As you can see, I've drawn on that as a kid. I regret that to this day. However, uh, still cool to have nonetheless. And they really go good as a set. So... The Kellogg's car comes in at number nine on our list. Coming in at number eight is going to be Carl Edwards' 2010 Scott's Turf Builder Ford Fusion. Uh, this was around the time that Scott's came back to sponsor Carl. They came back for the Atlanta race, and then they stuck around a few, a few races after that for uh, a couple years, actually, here and there. So... Uh, pretty cool paint scheme. This is uh, not the regular Scott's paint scheme, but a Scott's Turf Builder edition and one that definitely is pretty cool to have. So that comes in at number eight. Coming in at number seven is going to be Carl Edwards' 2007 Aflac Ford Fusion. Uh, same paint scheme as 2009. I simply gave 2010 the nomination because of the grill. I think the grill looks a lot better with the decals than the 2009 does. This was Carl's standard Aflac paint scheme for a couple of seasons, and it is one of the more iconic associated paint schemes with Carl Edwards to this day. So uh, let me know what you all think about this paint scheme, if it deserved a spot in the top 10 down below. So this rounds out number seven. Coming in at number six is going to be Carl Edwards' 2012, might be 2011, I think it's 2012 though, but if it's 2011, don't shoot me. Uh, Scott's Easy Seed Ford Fusion. Uh, this car arguably could have been a little bit higher. We'll see where where that debate takes place afterwards once I'm finished. But this car is absolutely beautiful. You got the gold all on the car with the green, uh, the grass going all alongside of it, and it just really, really looks nice. The gold and white really 
uh, go good together. So one of the coolest Carl paint schemes, I do believe. One of the coolest paint schemes in my collection, honestly. So uh, a really cool Carl car to have, and that comes in at number six. So given that the last paint scheme came in at number six, some might disagree with that. That might be a little low for it. However, that just goes to show how many cool cars that Carl has had throughout the years. Some that I don't even have. Uh, you know, you got the You Don't Know Quack car. You got the regular Scott's car that he drove for the Atlanta race. Uh, you know, there's plenty more that I'm just not mentioning that I can't think of off the top of my head. However, um, these top five are some, some have to do with my childhood all, and some have to do with just the quality of the paint scheme. So coming in at number five is going to be Carl Edwards' 2009, I believe, 2000 and, 2010. He might have ran this more than once, but I can't remember. I don't know where he ran this at, but I just remember this car popping up all over Walmart everywhere. You could literally get these, you know, three or four at a time. I think I have two of them, actually. Uh, but this is Carl Edwards' 2010 Aflac Silver Edition. I want to say he ran this at either Richmond or Bristol, but I'm not sure. Uh, if anybody knows, let me know down in the comments. But this was just a little alternative version to his standard Aflac paint scheme. And it looks absolutely beautiful with the silver, the black, and the light blue. So I'm going to do a review on this car pretty soon. But I just wanted to show this off in this video real quick. This comes in at number five. Coming in at number four is going to be Carl Edwards' 2010 Copart number 60 uh, Nationwide Series car. You'll also notice that a lot of these cars are from 2010, 2009. I really collected a lot of Carl cars during this time because they were always at Walmart. After that, you know, as a kid, you don't really have the opportunity to buy online. So most of the cars that I got were from from Walmart. If they weren't in Walmart, I didn't have them. Uh, and this car was one of the cars I was fortunate enough to be able to order as a kid. And it is absolutely beautiful. So you got the blue paint scheme that looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, Carl absolutely dominated the Nationwide Series when I was a kid. So getting a car that had the 60 on it was, you know, amazing for the time. Uh, but this paint scheme is just absolutely beautiful in my opinion. And it encapsulates a large portion of my childhood watching NASCAR. So that brings that to number four. That is Carl Edwards' number 60 Copart Ford Fusion coming in at number four. Coming in at number three is going to be Carl Edwards' 2010 Subway Ford Fusion. Uh, now this car has some ick on it that's from tape that I used to put uh, paper numbers on it when I was making races as a kid growing up. So just look over that part. But other than that, this paint scheme is absolutely beautiful. I love the subway cars. Carl had some of the best subway cars. I know Tony had a cool number 20 car that was subway. But when I think of subway cars, this one just really encapsulates that uh, feeling for me. So uh, this car always got ran early in the year at Phoenix, I believe, for the subway 400. And it is a uh, one of the coolest cars that I have. So Cool car to have, Carl Edwards' 2010 Subway Ford Fusion. Coming in at number two is going to be Carl Edwards' number 60 Save-A-Lot Ford Fusion. I don't know what year this is. I think 2009, maybe 2010. We can see on the bottom down here. Oh, 2008. 2008 Motorsports Authentics. So this one's even earlier than the Copart, the Copart car. I'm not going to take this out of the box because we don't really have enough time for that, and I've already done a review on it. So if you want to go watch the review, Go to my videos and you'll be able to find it. Uh, but this is a save a lot car. Really, really cool paint scheme. I kind of gave the gist of the 60 number and how the Nationwide Series affected me growing up as a kid. Uh, Carl, Brad, Kyle really uh, brought it every weekend. So that was fun to watch. So uh, this save a lot car really encapsulates that. And I just like it a little bit better than the Copart car and the Subway car. So that is why this car comes in at number two. Coming in at number one might be sort of controversial, but uh, I'll explain it whenever I show it to y'all. This is Carl Edwards' 2005 Atlanta first win edition. And this thing is beat up to death, I know, but it is such a beautiful paint scheme. That number 99 Scott's car was absolutely beautiful back in the day. Uh, it was so good that they pretty much remade the paint scheme in 2012, 2011, 2012. I think it was 2011 because it was, I can't remember when it was, but it was whenever he flipped Brad and almost killed Brad, it seemed like. So uh, this paint scheme is fairly old, but 
Uh, you know, this is a first win edition, and I really, really have held on to this throughout the years. As you can see, it's beat to death. I would love to get a 124 scale of this again. I had it, and I gave it away, but uh, I would love to get the 164 scale uh, edition that they remade with the COT. So, uh, really cool paint scheme. I know this is probably controversial, not everyone's number one, but this is my top Carl Edwards paint scheme uh, for this ranking. So let me know what you all thought about this ranking down in the comments section below. Remember, this is just my ranking of the die cast that I have of Carl Edwards. I have a few more in my collection, but they did not make the cut. Uh, so let me know what your top 10 Carl Edwards die cast would be down in the comments section below. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you all in the next one.